Hi everyone, Mark from Brave Auto. Uh, today I'm sitting in a 2002 Nissan L Grand. This is the uh, new shape, the E51 style body. So it has the big chrome front. Um, looks, it looks similar, a little bit similar to the older, but a lot modern. Um, it's a lot more modern around the front and around onto the mirrors here, and a lot more modern inside. Uh, this one was bought for a customer in the UK. Uh, it was grade 4.5, done 75,000 Ks, it's in pearl white and with the lower, the lower section of the vehicle is in a, a metallic grey. Um, doesn't have leather, it has cloth trim, this is the X model so it's not the top of the range but it has a lot of features like um, you've got half wood leather steering wheel, um, you've got the full chrome front, chrome door mirror covers with indicators built into them roof spoiler, alloys, uh, you got TV navigation up the front here, you got a pop down screen at the back where you can um, watch TV, DVDs or whatever, you got iPod plug-in, electric side doors to open and close, you got electric side windows, uh, electric roof, uh, the seats, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six in the back, move in that many different directions it's confusing um, but you can fold them completely away and have it as a van or you can lay them down have it as a bed whatever is your uh, fancy I suppose um, this is an automatic has a 3.5 v6 in them and I think they're for what they are they're actually um, a super super van a lot of people go for the Toyota a steamer um, just because it's more brand named around the world um, if I had my choice I'd have one of these any day um, just a lot better looking and just the refinement of them is just superb now, they even have the smart key system and this is back in obviously 2002 if you don't know what the smart key is it's just a key fob that you keep in your pocket your handbag if you carry a handbag I suppose and you don't need a key to unlock the vehicle or start the vehicle it's just a button on the door you just push that that unlocks it and then you just turn the, the um, where the key would normally go just turn that and it will start as long as you have the key fob with you um, the key fob doesn't work there's a, a key a metal key that comes out of the fob that which you can use anyway i'll get underway with this and give it its road test Okay, so we'll get underway. It's so nice to drive these Algrands. Just um, really, really nice. I think if I was going to own a people mover type vehicle it would definitely be one of these they actually look really good if you put um, like 18 inch aftermarket alloys on them and just just lower it just a little bit look really nice with the 3.5 uh, the v6 they, they, do, they do get up and go because they're, they're basically running the same um, style in, in a, uh, engine as the um, Zeds so yeah um, can't remember if I mentioned before this was grade 4.5 there's a sheet there 75 Ks and very nice just put the air on a bit Um, on the transmission it's, you've just got um, you got D and then you can move it to Triptronic so when you move it over it changes on the here what gear you're in so you can go down a gear it's going down the third 
second, back up the third, fourth, or just put it back into D. And you've also got power mode and snow mode. go better than some of the cars I drive. Now the prices on these, you know, like this is a 2002, 75k, it's got it's grade 4.5, but um, the prices will start from, I don't know, 350, 400,000 yen FOB, which you know it's cheap for a, a van of this caliber. Brakes feel good. It's changing gear correctly, there's no lag or shock to it. Just give it a bit of uh, down here. Please for a van they go. There's not much body roll in them either really. They're still fairly, um, fairly well planted. Turn around here. As soon as the traffic goes past. Well, reverse works. Power motor, eh? so it's like. You can get these in a diesel as well, and you can also get them in a smaller uh, petrol engine. The smaller petrol engine ones are alright, they're a little bit mm, sluggish I suppose, when they're loaded up. You know, when you've got, if you've got a big family and you've got, uh, I don't know, what is it, five kids and two adults, and some luggage, you know, they're, they're a little bit more... They're not as pokey, whereas um, these ones, the 3.5s, got a lot of torque to them. Well, what's going on up here? Traffic jam. Okay, so that's the 2002 Nissan L Grand. This is the X model, so it's not the top of the range, as I said before, I think. Um, but 
full of features as they are. Okay, thank you guys. See ya.